Um, I'm here today to show you guys how to make a viewfinder. So a viewfinder is just what it sounds like. You find your view by looking through something called a viewfinder. So this is really helpful if you're trying to draw something um, outdoors or trying to draw something really specific. Um, with a lot of other stuff around you. It's really easy to get distracted by your surroundings and not really focus on your main subject or your main idea for your art project. So that's why a lot of artists use a viewfinder and we're gonna learn how to make one today and hopefully use one this week um, as an extra little challenge. Um, so a viewfinder is to make our outdoor composition. A composition is how you compose your picture and what you're including inside your picture. Viewfinders are gonna actually be a lot smaller than you'd think. Your picture isn't actually gonna be this small, but your viewfinder is. So your viewfinder is basically a piece of paper with a small box cut into it, um, and it has a border around it so that I could see, oh, that's what I wanna draw. And I can go all around outside and sit, close one eye and look at it and just see exactly what I want to be inside my picture. Okay? So what you're going to need is you're going to need a small piece of paper. You can use a lined piece of paper if that's what you have at home. Um, I'm using a plain one because that's what I have. You're going to need some scissors um, and you're going to need a pencil. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to draw a box or a rectangle inside of your um, piece of paper. So you're going to take your uh, pencil and you're just going to sketch a little box with your pencil. Okay. Doesn't have to be too big. Okay, like this. Then you're going to take your scissors and um, you're going to cut all the way through on one side. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut all the way through one side like this. Okay. And then I'm gonna try not to cut through any of my other sides. So I'm squeezing, remember how we've learned to squeeze at the back of our scissors? Um, don't squeeze at the top, because then you're gonna cut all the way through and you're gonna cut more than you want. And if you mess up, you could just try again with a new piece of paper. All right, so I have cut my box and I have this little space right here. If you have tape at home, uh, you can take a little piece of tape and you can tape it together because uh, it might bother you and it might be more difficult to find your view if this is flapping in the wind. Um, so I'm going to use tape because I have it. If you don't have tape at home, you can just hold that spot while you're checking your view in your viewfinder. Um, so I'm going to tape it right here and then voila. Basically, you're just going to go outside, you're going to hold your viewfinder up, close one eye, and you're gonna look only through that hole right there to see what it is that you want to draw. What it is you want your main subject to be, what you want your composition to be inside of your art project. You have somewhere that you can go outdoors or even just sitting in front of a window and trying to find a nice view outdoors. Well, have fun with your viewfinders and I can't wait to see what you guys think. What we are going to be doing is we are gonna be using our viewfinders to find our view to create our composition and we're gonna do this outside. Again, if you're not able to go outside, you guys can do this through a window or even do a viewfinder uh, drawing inside. But I wanna challenge you guys to go outside, get some fresh air, make sure you're keeping your six feet distance, but you can still enjoy the outdoors and get some sunshine um, while we're on this, this little break. So what you're going to need is you're gonna need a blank piece of paper, you're gonna need something hard to draw on, um, and then you're gonna use a uh, color, color utensil, whichever you have. Um, you know I love crayons, so I'm gonna be using crayons, but you can also use colored pencils, markers, whatever you have at home. Um, so you're gonna need your viewfinder um, to make our composition. Um, the viewfinder should be just a cutout box out of a piece of paper. You're going to take this and first you're going to scan your area. What that means is you're going to close one eye, you're going to hold up your viewfinder, and you are going to look all around and find a nice spot um, with a nice view that you would like to draw. So I've already found my view, but I'm going to show you guys how I scanned. Because I walked around everywhere and I looked through my viewfinder. Sometimes you have to hold it with two hands or from the top if it's really windy like it is right now. You should be able to see through my viewfinder. 
I'm going to continue to look through my viewfinder to make sure that I'm keeping my view um, because I don't want to just make it up in my head what I'm drawing. I really want you guys to practice drawing what you see um, and not what you think you see. Because uh, a lot of times we think we know what a tree looks like and then when we draw it, it doesn't look like the tree that's in front of us. So we really need to do um, practice some of that as artists uh, drawing from life. So we're going to use this opportunity to do that. So first what you're going to do is you're going to draw your box that you see in your viewfinder. So I'm going to draw my box. Once you have your box, I'm going to draw my box. Get started. Get now, started. once you have your pencil drawing done, you've drawn in pencil, you've outlined basically what you see by looking at your viewfinder, you're double checking, and you see what's there, and you've drawn it with your pencil. Now you can have a little fun with the color. So you can either draw and color exactly the colors that you see, or you can now get creative. Now that you've used the viewfinder to draw and fill the entire space, because if you're using a viewfinder, you shouldn't have any empty space. Your lines should go all the way through to the edges of that box. It filled the whole box up. out of with your viewfinder. A little spooky and weird. So I want you guys to have fun and get creative with adding different colors into wherever you decided and whatever you decided to make your composition out of with